Hello guys, I will show you some FPS tricks for no rest for the wicked. This is the name of the game here. Yeah. So, uh, the most important thing is the render scale. I won't explain much. I will show you the best options and just check them out. So, render scale at 80%. You won't see the difference between 180. The difference is minimal. So. It will help a lot. Don't go below 70% on this. The image will go really worse. Okay, sharpness 200%. If you are going with 80% render scale or even going lower than that, go with 200%. Do not use dynamic resolution scale. This makes the image really bad and you don't get as much of case as messing around with the render scale. DLSS, the game will have DLSS soon. Also, AMD users, use the frame generation. If you have a 6000 Radeon graphics card, please download the early access driver for the frame generation. That will help a lot and maybe it will be even better than when DLSS comes out for the Nvidia users. So you need to use that. Uh, in order to get a lot of FPS. So in this game, you have like, uh, right now have like 100 FPS, but there are areas that go like in the 60s, etc. So the game is not optimized. The reason the game is so bad is because, as you can see here, we have some presets and that's it. We can't mess around with shadows, with other things that really will help the FPS. So I don't know if the game will have that in a later stage, but right now use performance. Okay, I will show you another thing is that I use Riva Tuner to limit my FPS at 130. This helps the image get uh, more stable. So also, uh, also, this is my NVIDIA control panel, pretty standard stuff. I have monitor technology fixed refresh I have prefer maximum performance on power management mode quality I don't mess with that you can try it out maybe it will help shader cache for some users that have issues uh, the VRAM of the graphics card is low try this out it will use disk space and that's it I mean we can't really do much Okay, these are my tips and they will help, especially the render scale, like, look at this, if I have it on 100, I have 87 FPS in this area, but if I have it on 80, as you can see, I gain a lot, but if you go lower than that, like 50, you won't get much, so keep that in mind, you have to have it like 80. I would say 75 and if you go below that the image will get worse it may look like 180p so keep that in mind like the game right now is like this and with 80% you gain a lot okay this is a better FPS gainer than the other thing below the dynamic scale it really makes it worse image. Just use the render scale and sharpness at 200 and you will be able to play the game. I hope this helped you and see you in the next video.